All the tests on Jock went without a hitch, and when the holiday months came, the new engine had already proved his value. He was stronger than the others, and people even came to the railway on purpose to see him. Unfortunately, this went to his smoke box, and he became rather cocky. One day, Jock was alone at the bottom station. A container of sleepers arrived, but the lorry could not get into the yard. Now what? demanded the lorry driver, scratching his head. No problem, said the small controller. Just arrange the trailer astride the rails and leave it. Jock will do the rest. A cable was fastened between Jock's tender and the trailer, and, puffing hard, Jock pulled the trailer into the yard. Road or rail, what do I care? Jock boasted in the shed that night. The engines looked at each other in dismay. Next day, Mike was waiting at the platform to take a train up the line when he saw Jock backing down towards him. What's this? he asked as Jock was coupled on. I can manage. The small controller wants me to help, said Jock importantly. The party on the train has asked to see me specially. Oh, has it? said Mike. Well, make sure you don't leave me to push you as well as pull the train. That gave Mike an idea. He whispered to his driver, who grinned and nodded. We'll do it after the green, he said. So, when they restarted from the green, he gradually cut off steam. Now the whole weight of the train, with Mike as well, pulled on Jock's coupling. Smoke and steam shot high in the air as he had to work extra hard. Jock's driver glanced back. When he saw Mike grinning, he realised what was happening. Feeling tired, are you, Mike? asked Jock at the top station. You were enjoying yourself, Mike grinned. I didn't want to spoil your fun. Ah, said Jock. I wondered if perhaps I was going too fast for you. Too fast, spluttered Mike. You wait. But Jock didn't wait. He chuckled and ran quickly away so that Mike could have his turn on the table. Mike was still cross when it was time to leave and started at a great pace. Steady, said his driver. We're not racing anyone. That's what you think, muttered Mike. They stopped at the green. Mike's driver tried to let the water into the boiler, but the injector wouldn't work. Ouch! squeaked Mike. Give me a drink quickly, please. I think I'm going to burst. Your injector has failed, explained the driver, turning to his radio telephone. Now Jock will have to pull us home. What? spluttered Mike. But there was no other way. Mike's fire was put out. Jock moved to the front of the train, and in the end little time was lost. Duck, warned by control, was waiting for any passengers who wanted to go to the big station. Mike went to the shed to be mended, and was feeling better by the time the others arrived. I'm sorry I made you do all the work this morning, Mike apologised when Jock came in. Thank you for bringing me home. That's all right, said Jock. I'm sorry too. It's silly trying to get the better of each other. If I hadn't teased you, perhaps your injector wouldn't have failed. It taught me a lesson. On a railway, it's teamwork that counts. The other three small engines agreed, and looking at them, Jock was glad that he was one of the team.